r slash ask reddit 8-bit piratepagleg says what's the biggest loophole you've ever exploited afraid assumption 20 says this loophole I learned from someone else on Reddit, but I'll share it for those who may not know. If you have a planet fitness plan and can't cancel it online, change your home gym to a random one in California. Then you can cancel it online. Raya Child says. That's not a loophole, it's California's consumer protection laws at work. We could have this everywhere if voters weren't so quick to white knight for businesses that purposely harm consumers. Our Jimus says. If I don't live in California, it's a loophole for me. Kit Kat Barkalinger says. I used to bartend and would have to pay for parking either on the street, which was a pain since I would have to re-up in the middle of my shift and often forgot or in a paid parking lot. Found a parking garage that used a ticket machine on the way in but had you pay a person on the way out. 90% of the time there would be no one working late night when I left work, so I scored free parking for a few years. Jbuzilich says. Lol during the dot point com. Days I had a job interview and the execs told me the same thing as one of the benefits of the job. Parking garage was insanely expensive but all the other businesses on the campus ended their days around 430 or 5 p.m. The garage staff left before 6 every day and the job had regular work hours till 6. Didn't get that job, but I laughed at their free parking perk. Nails for breakfast says. If a garage makes you pay on the way out, and you notice there is no way to pay with cash you can usually press the help button and tell them you don't have a credit card and ask how to pay with cash. 9 times out of 10 they'll just open the gate for you. Full Throttle Jasmine says. I used my college at nearly until my 40s for discounts. A few years back, a cashier at a local hardware store gave me a really look that cut right to my soul, which made me stop using it. Themixter says. I did this for forever too. Like you it stopped working in my 40s, so I took one class at the local college and got a new college it. Now I use the new one. Jingleva says. HMM. My local community college allows over 62 to audit classes for free. I wonder if they give out ids. Excellent Debt 2971 says. When my brother and I lived together, he worked for a large chain restaurant. They had a policy where, if someone called in an order for pickup and didn't pick it up by closing time, it was free game for the employees to take home. Occasionally, I would call in orders for pickup. Never pick it up, and he'd just take it home for us. I'm not proud of it. We were both broke af at the time, and most days, it was the only food we could get at it. I'm no longer broke so, whenever I buy food from this place I make sure to leave a heavy tip, I guess as a thank you to the chain for keeping me alive, but mostly to ease my guilt. Dada Potato says. When I was in college a famous burger shop with a toppings bar would give you two to-go boxes. One with the burger and fries, one for the toppings. For 10 bucks I'd be eating a burger, fries, and salad for 3 days. Publostomus says. This is why we don't have fudrukas anymore lol. Shunrita says. I worked for an organization that ordered large amounts of groceries every week for their group activities from a major supermarket. There was a place to put in your loyalty card number, so I just used mine. Not only did I get heaps of points to use in shopping there, no one noticed it until about 5 years after I left. Edit, I wasn't a supermarket employee or other insider exploiting my employer. We were a totally unrelated business who bought from them. When I was tasked with setting up the account to purchase online there was a form to fill out. My business didn't have a loyalty card and wasn't interested in jettying one. So I just used mine. It was a set and forget type of thing. The supermarket also had, in addition to our business landline, my mobile number and the delivery people would contact me directly if they had any problem at 6.30am when they brought the stuff. 
I don't really know if anyone ever noticed it or not. Probably either a, they changed their supplier or b someone else taking care of the account put in their number instead, I tend towards option b. They didn't ask for the points back because they hadn't been interested in them in the first place. For years I also kept getting calls from various suppliers who somehow still had my mobile number, I kept redirecting them to the office and telling them I didn't work there anymore. It hasn't happened for a while. Sometimes Stutter says. So Menard's Midwest Home Improvement Store often runs a 11% rebate deal. I worked at a factory and one of my responsibilities was being head of fives, so I would buy thousands of dollars of stuff each month. I also signed up for their contractor credit card which gave me another 1-2% rebate, and this became the default card for the entire company somehow. Guess who got thousands of dollars in Menard's rebates? r slash ask reddit. Stomp the ground 222 says. What's the worst jump scare you've gotten on the internet? Oh quick says. That car video. Rigeth of Orkiri says. Scary maze game when I was 10 or 11. Spiritual top 7867 says. That scrolling comic one, similar to manga. Mac 2367 says. Two girls one cup. Elizabeth Hood says. It was a video with a rocking chair. I nearly pissed myself. Shino 4242 says. So I'm scared of spiders, but every now and then I try to help myself overcome it and look at pictures and videos. One person had a Goliath bird eating spider. I knew it was coming. I was prepared for it. It showed a very laugh spider sitting in their bathroom. I thought okay. I can handle this. I can handle this. I can it starts, frick, I'm panning to the side and it very quickly became apparent that the previous spider was either some normal ass tarantula or a relatively young Goliath because, because, because. Some beast out of a god, damn D&D book slowly came into view. Its legs spanning from one end of the toilet seat to the other. I came prepared. I knew what I was there for. But, but. Seeing the size disparity compared to a spider I already thought was, frick, in huge, no. No I couldn't do it. I feel like, if the little guy hadn't been there first to lull me into believing the worst has already happened, I might have been fine. But the smaller one drained too much of my HP. I can't handle the boss fight. Gothic Chick says. Trying to casually browse through Netflix and accidentally clicking on a horror movie trailer. Heart Attack City. Axelroth says. Back in the day on YouTube, I would often watch a gaming tutorial or something, then bam, scary maze face. Doesn't help that I'm easily startled. Victoria Euphorian 99 says. The car. Orskan 531 says. When you clicked a button to collect a free drink holder and the CD tray opened. Sad Lungs says. Momo, IDK how anyone hasn't said that yet but that scared me so bad when I was 7. Midnight Onyx 772 says. I had a friend send me a fake link that had my computer turn into a full screen woman with a creepy face screaming creepily and loud as frick. Couldn't click out of it, and it scared me, so I shut off my computer altogether. Davin Alexington says. One of those spider videos, I spilled my coffee on myself slash bed. Status Impress 9502 says. I once clicked a link thinking it was a funny meme, and bam, screaming face right in my face. Had me jumping out of my seat, and checking my pulse. Glowing Honey 69 says. That one where I thought I was just watching a cooking video then bam scary face, appears like excuse me, I was just trying to make pasta. Key Day 7932 says. Somehow, I managed to avoid a lot of jumpscares on the internet, but smile point jpg. 
did scare the bejesus out of me the first couple times I saw it. Don Flipper says. The freaking rocking chair video. Bajalali says. Smart Skullboy 9. Trash Pit 996 says. A Yautub video maybe from 2010 or so called Band Wendy's commercial. It started out normal then suddenly cut to a cow and someone loudly screaming oh my god, while pure insanity emerged on screen. I watched I once, and have never been able to find it again. International Hal 545 says. Did anyone ever see that video of Michael Jackson's ghost that was a jumpscare? I've never had a jumpscare like that. Amusage Raviticut says. There was this old video of a room that had the exorcist girl flag on screen after like 30 seconds. It was actually quite a trend for a while. West Farming says. The haunting of Hill House scene in the car. Financial Year 2030 says. The plane crash deer was literally horrifying. I really thought that literally a plane crash occurred through a camera being on and the video went viral and suddenly the screen changed and bang bang and the worst part was my phone was in full volume at my hostel. That's all for this video thank you for watching please subscribe.